the FRC Phys Ed Department has been sending out lots of different ideas for you to get active at home, lots of fitness stuff. There's so many free things online right now, which is great. This is something a little bit different. Some games that you probably have played in your phys ed classes. Uh, we're just gonna adapt them a little bit so that you can play them in your yard or in a close by field where there isn't anybody else around. So make sure you're finding somebody already within your house. Keep your social distancing and physical distancing rules and uh, have some fun with it. It's something just a little bit different and you're gonna have fun playing some rock, paper, scissors games, some tag games, as well as getting some good cardio and some good muscular strength and endurance, uh, which would be good for everybody. Okay, this is a game, little game called lateral tag. You just need one other person to do this game and you need something that you can put on the ground. So we have two little pylons, but you can put anything that's gonna stay there uh, to help make your, set up your game. So lateral means sideways. So the only movement you're gonna have is moving sideways like this. Good, Emily's helping me. So shuffling, not crossing over, shuffling your feet, good. And let's go back the other way. Good, shuffling like this. So sideways movement. And it's a tag game. So we're gonna start off facing each other. We have to stay close to the pylons. We can't go way over there, way over there. We have to stay in our little oval around the pylon. Emily is gonna start facing me. And we're going to say that I'm it, okay, to start with. And I have to try and tag her, but i got to move around the pylons to tag her. I can't reach through and tag her. Okay, you ready, Emily? Set. Go. i got to go this way. I could turn and go this way. And if I get around and tag her, now she's it. So i got to get away. She can't reach through. she got to go around. Oh, she tagged me. And then we keep going. And you can set up a timer or time yourselves and go for 30 seconds or a minute and you'll notice your heart rate's gonna go up and you get a good little cardio workout by having a fun tag game with somebody else in your household. Good job. Okay, so the next one is a little game we play in the gym, uh, often with a, a line of people on both sides, but you can play it just with one other person. It's also known as crows and cranes. There's lots of different uh, ways you can do it. We're gonna do it playing rock, paper, scissors. So Anna and I are on a team, but you could just have one other person that you're playing against. So I'll be playing against Emily and we're gonna play rock, paper, scissors. We just put a line down in the middle of two pylons. So we got a pylon down there and a pylon down there, but you could put a stick down, something so that you have a distance that you have to run to if you lose the rock, paper, scissors game. So we're gonna play rock, paper, scissors. If you lose, you have to run and try and get to your pylon before the other person tags you and vice versa. If you lose, if I lose, I gotta run that way and try not to let Emily tag me. Ready? Do you remember what we're gonna be? Okay, ready? So we go, We're and we decided we're going on rock, paper, scissors, shoot. No confusion. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. We beat Emily, we gotta chase her. And you can even just run past her. I didn't get Emily before she got to the pylon, so she gets a point if you want to keep score. Okay? And then we quickly come back here and we do it again. Ready? You know what you're going to be? So we're going to be. Okay. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ah, she beat us! Let's go, Anna! Good work, Anna. Okay? And you can keep going back and forth and doing it over and over again until you get to a certain number until you get tired, but try and go quickly back to center and start again right away. Good. High five. <laughs> High five. Good. Okay, this next one is sort of a rock, paper, scissors fitness fun game, just to add a little fun into the, the fitness you're doing. So try and do it with, it's a cooperative game, you're not playing against somebody, so try and get somebody else in your house, maybe a parent or a sibling to do it. You could even do it across the street from somebody. So if you had a friend that uh, you wanna obviously keep your distance from, they could go across the street and you could play rock, paper, scissors and do something like this as well. We're gonna play rock, paper, scissors. We have our pylon set up a fair distance away from us and you can make that longer or shorter, whatever you want. Sure, okay. So you can make it longer or shorter, however you want. And uh, you'll see what happens. So we play rock, paper, scissors in the middle, okay? If you win, you stay here and you do some sort of body weight activity or, or um, uh, cardio activity, like jumping jacks, jump squats, squats, could be push-ups, burpees, sit-ups, 
the list goes on, anything you come up with. The other person has to run to the pylon and back as fast as they can. And then as soon as they get back, you play rock, paper, scissors again. And whoever wins stays here and does the body weight exercise. The other person runs there and back. Okay, so let's try one out. Ready? I'm going to say for now, for the first minute, let's say the person that wins stays here and does jumping jacks. Okay, ready, set, go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. So I lose, I go, and you win and do jumping jacks. Let's go. Good, Emily. Okay, ready? Right back. Here we go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Shoot. You go, and we do jumping jacks. Go. Good. Good jumping jack, Anna. Keep going until she gets back. Good. Okay, then I would say after that minute, you can just keep switching the fitness activity that you do here. So let's do some jump squats. Ready? Jump. Good. We could do uh, push-ups. Ready? Push up. Down and up. <laughs> we could do um, mountain climbers. Like this. We could do burpees. Right? Jump up and down. Good. Up. Up. Good. We could do lunges. Okay? Like this. And if we want to add cardio to that, we could do split lunges where we jump one foot to the next and the list goes on lots of different okay ones. this next game is called me and my shadow we do this at school too but you could do it anywhere you just need two people to do it and obviously someone from your household and you need to set up boundaries so we've set it up so that we can only go in our sort of front yard and up to a certain tree and not past the fire hydrant so that you're not running forever and ever so you could set that up wherever you're playing and it's a two-person game, so I'm gonna start as it, and I'm trying to tag Emily, okay? And she is gonna start about two arms lengths away from me. And we're gonna give, we're gonna use different uh, locomotor movements. So we're gonna start off by, let's start off by running, okay? So I am gonna say go, and then she is gonna try and run and get away from me. If I tag her, she's it, and I have to get away from her. And then I'm gonna give you a bunch of different other ways of moving to keep keep going with this game. Okay? Okay, so ready? So Anna, you're going to come with me. You're going to be on my team. Okay, let's try it. Ready, set, go. Come on. Come on, Anna. Go I take Emily. <laughs> She's it. And I got to run away from her. Okay, you can do it skipping. Okay, good. You can do it galloping. Galloping. <laughs> you can do two foot jumps. <laughs> you can do hops. Hops on one foot. Every time you take someone, you change what foot you're on for hops. <laughs> okay, and one of the harder ones, it's slow. But it's good, is walking lunges. Yeah, okay, ready? Go, so you do big steps. And you try and take the other person. <laughs> that one wasn't a good lunge, the last one. Okay, go. You can also do crab walk. This event hurts your hands. You go on the grass if you want. <laughs> the next game is called 100 Passes. And we've done this in phys ed class at FRC, but it's a fun one. It's going to be a little different though. Normally we have partners all over the gym, but you could set it up at your house with, we have hoops, but you could just have an area marked off where you have a ball and chalk. another ball in the other, yeah, you could use chalk, another ball in another hoop. And you're going to play pass, so work on a bit of coordination. You're trying to count and pass to 100 passes. We're going to do 10 here, put the ball down, run to the other one, and we continue counting 11, 12, 13, 14 to 20. We come back here, so you switch every 10. And it's just going to create us obviously moving, get a little fitness, cardio. And then what we could do is we could challenge somebody, a friend living at a different house. And if we say, okay, our 
our uh, hoops are this far apart. And this is the type of ball we used. This is how long it took us to get to 100. Challenge somebody else that you know. And that can make it a little bit more competitive. Okay, ready? I'll show them. So, you say go. Good ready position. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Put it down. Let's go.